welcome to another episode of Mac Minute. This week, we're going to kind of let, leave, take, pick up where we left off last week with iPhoto, because you probably want to know how you can send photos to people, and there's a couple ways you can do that, and we're going to combine this thing with our mail attachment as well. So there's a couple of subjects today we're going to talk about. So you see, I still have a, on my screen from the same place I left off last week, where I have my photos open. So what I want to do is I'm going to bring up the Blue Angels event, and I'm going to pick this photo. It's one of my favorites. And say I want to send it to somebody. So a couple things I could do. I could um, right here, as I'm in here, highlight it and come down here and say share, just like this. And I, at this point, I could share it in a bunch of different places. I could either order a print from it. I could send it to Twitter. I could send it to my Flickr account. I could send it to my Facebook account. I could email to somebody. I could text it to somebody. And I could stick it in photo stream. So today we're going to focus strictly on email. So the simplest thing to do is you want to email somebody is click on email, just like this. And in a second, you're going to see my email program pops up straight inside of iPhoto, and I can pick who I'm going to send it to. So that's sending one picture. Well, let's say I want to send multiple pictures. So I'm going to cancel that. And in this case, I'm going to highlight these, oops, these six right here, and I'm going to share them. And I'm going to, again, do that via email. So there you see, I'm going to send six attachments. You scroll down, you see all six attachments right in the email, ready to go. They're big pictures, so you don't you see them kind of cut off. So that's where I would now send out my two. So, but there's another way you can do this too, and this is what I want to talk about in the mail side of things. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. And by the way, this highlight and send works for all the other shares. In fact, that's how you want to order prints. You can order prints right there online as well and Twitter, and you see all these options are still valid with multiple selections. But let's say you have it on your desktop. Like I have all these photos in this folder on my desktop where you saw watching me import them before. So I have my mail client open and I'm going to create a new email. Let me get this over here. Here's a new email. And I'm going to select uh, four of these. The easiest way to attach them, I mean, well, you could attach them by going to up here. The simplest way is to just drag them just like this. There they are. Now, this is how you also attach documents. You can attach anything to mail simply by dragging it in just like that. And then you come up here and you put in your uh, to address and your subject. So it's just as easy to do it either way. So today I covered two things. First of all, you can send it out of iPhoto, which is super easy, and you can send them multiple um, different types of services, including Twitter and Flickr, or stuff like that. So it integrates nicely with those, you know, click, one click. However, I also wanted to cover mail attachments uh, and dragging documents in. So now I just showed you how to do both. So this Mac Minute was a twofer Mac Minute. So that's it for this week. Uh, we'll see you next week on Mac Minute. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.